So my name's Simon Pyle. I am the deputy head teacher at Anson Primary School in the London Borough of Brent. Now there are so many things. I think I think the fact that no two days are ever the same is great. Um, the joy of seeing young learners excited about grasping new concepts um, or developing just a real love of learning. And I think our working with our staff at Anson is particularly special. They are incredibly dedicated, they're innovative, and they're seemingly ageless too. So I'm particularly passionate about children, not just having a voice, but having an audience too, um, and ensuring that that audience is as large as possible. And that's because throughout the curriculum, we, we try to embed experiences that give children the opportunity to express themselves. Um, and if this work's only really seen by the teacher and the pupil, then it doesn't give a huge incentive for children to share maybe deeper thoughts and consistently share them. Um, we should never, I don't, I don't think we should ever really underestimate the depth of thinking that children are capable of. Um, and having seen them showcase their understanding on knife crime, um, pollution, global warming, um, race, poverty, it's hugely important if we're going to convince the children that they have the potential to be the next change makers in the world, that we give them an audience for their current thinking. Without a doubt, the simplicity of the platform is key to the success. In the past, we've had USB sticks plugged into screens. Um, we've had slideshows as screensavers, and they're incredibly time consuming and difficult to set up. But more importantly, they're time consuming to manage, and they're usually done by one person rather than anybody in the school. So Trilby TV as a cloud-based solution means that we can be anywhere in the world and update the system immediately. And when you consider the complexities of moving a school from a physical environment into a virtual environment, that kind of access is really critical, not least because all of your work is suddenly cloud-based. However, what I think sets apart the system is that we can tailor screens to different needs, which means we can communicate and share the corporate side of our work in the main entrance and push our vision very much to our visitors. But we can share the work of the pupils in the main spaces of the school. And not only that, but when you have 30% of pupils in school during lockdown and 70% at home, the ability to embed that content on the website has been really valuable. So when we return to school in September, I don't think we've ever seen such a complicated timetable to get every pupil fed. Um, and out playing at lunchtime within an hour and 15 minutes. So for me, the children just didn't really know which part of the school they were in, when they were supposed to be there, um, and the staff were struggling just as much. And when you've got that kind of issue going on, you need a solution that works for everybody. So we created some really colourful graphics, displayed them on the Trilby TV screens throughout the dining hall, um, and in an instant, everybody had clarity. Everybody knew where they were. Um, and so even for the youngest of learners, Trilby TV can be informative um, and useful. It's not just about sharing work all the time. Sometimes it's about joining a community together um, and having a shared understanding. My three words, um, simple, powerful, unique. So we want to use more screens around the school to give each year group a chance to share their work um, and work with an audience that's an immediacy that they currently don't have. So it means an investment in screens to put up around the school, but it also means an investment in time to train the staff how to use the Trilby TV software. And that's not going to take very long. What we envisage is that the children will journey along the school corridor and they'll be immersed in that digital experience of celebration, of sharing. So when we have our whole school events, such as assemblies or sports days, when we give out our awards, we can really celebrate that and have every screen really broadcasting that great news um, because this is really about a good news item. It's about spreading joy, um, spreading pride and spreading that feeling that we're, we're part of something within the community. Um, so it's important for us that every screen is connected. 
um, and therefore that everybody has a voice and an audience. Um, I, I genuinely believe that Trilby TV fits with our ethos of happy, creative, confident children with a lifelong love of learning. I think celebrating that learning gives them that joy, makes them happy and encourages that creativity and confidence. My one tip would be to think differently. Yes, Trilby TV is great for sharing people's work, there's no doubt about it, but actually you can do more than that with the system to engage your audience. So we've had it as fun kind of guess who competitions where the teachers are hiding behind red noses for Red Nose Day or uh, Father Christmas's beard at Christmas time. But we've also had school votes on there. We've, we've showcased school council election manifestos. Um, we've showcased our film festival information, um, but it's also been used as really practical things like price lists behind stalls so that people can see how much they've got to pay for a year six project or a theatre evening. Um, so it can be um, really limitless. In fact, really the only limitation is the imagination you have for the product. Well, we've only just entered our second year of using Shrilby TV and it's had an amazing impact in year one. So I don't know how I really managed the struggle for so long of trying to um, fit our kind of square solutions into the round hole. Um, as educators, I guess that's part of it. We try and make things fit. We try to make things work. Um, and generally we make things happen, but it's at a cost. So I certainly wish I'd switched to Trilby TV a lot earlier than we did. Um, if I had done, I'd probably have a lot more hair under my hat.